Members of this Council have a fundamental responsibility to ensure that any peace is just and durable. Council members should not be fooled by calls for a temporary or unconditional ceasefire. Russia will use any pause in fighting to consolidate control over the territory it's illegally seized and replenish its forces for further attacks. That's what happened when Russia's first assault on Ukraine froze in 2015. Look at what followed. And members of this Council should not fall into the false equivalency of calling on both sides to stop fighting or calling on other nations to stop supporting Ukraine in the name of peace. No member of this Council should call for peace while supporting Russia's war on Ukraine and on the UN Charter. In this war, there is an aggressor and there is a victim. Russia fights for conquest. Ukraine fights for its freedom. If Russia stops fighting and leaves Ukraine, the war ends. If Ukraine stops fighting, Ukraine ends. The fact remains, one man, Vladimir Putin, started this war. One man can end it. Day after day of Russia's atrocities, it's easy to become numb to the horror, to lose our ability to feel shock and outrage. But we can never let the crimes Russia is committing become our new normal. Bucha is not normal. Mariupol is not normal. Irpin is not normal. Bombing schools and hospitals and apartment buildings to rubble is not normal. Stealing Ukrainian children from their families and giving them to people in Russia is not normal. We must not let President Putin's callous indifference to human life become our own. We must force ourselves to remember that behind every atrocity in this wretched war, in conflicts around the world, is a human being. We, the peoples of the United Nations, determined to save succeeding generations from the scourge of war. That's how the UN Charter begins. Fellow members of this Council, now is the time to meet that promise. There are so many people in Ukraine who want the same thing as that little girl Veronica, a, a world where they can live in peace in their own country and keep the people they love safe. We have the power, we have the responsibility to create that world today and for generations to come. We cannot, we will not let one country destroy it.